Hello everyone, welcome to Rob Town's Beer Reviews. I'm back again. This time we're doing a room temperature glass. I do it occasionally there, so people want to think I just frost glass on here or chill them here. Alright, try to get my best shot. Uh, I've done this brewery before, but I've not done this particular flavor. It's a new flavor to me. Uh, it's in the tap room, but I'll mention it where it's at. Of course, there's a little hint there on top of the head here. Alright. Today we're doing, by the way, this is video number 368, number, 360 is in, number 369 is still in the stores. Let's see what comes up with next, all right? Anyway, today we're doing Hen House Phantom Time IPA. That cool can there. You see you got some uh, bishop there, and some knights and some kings and different thing there. Variety of different things on the uh, on this can here. It's very interesting here. All right, really cool cute looking can there. All right, okay. Back for the fancy stuff here. Okay, it's, like I said before, it's Phantom Time IPA. Time is 3:09 p.m. 11:21 2019. Thursday, late afternoon. Now we do the ABV, alcohol by volume. 6.3 ABV, alcohol by volume. 25 IBUs, they're not sure better units. Can down date, dig this man. 11, 14, 19. It's only seven days old. Pretty cool or what? That's damn fresh. Anything on the side of the can here says anything 28 days or less is considered fresh and they're at their brewery, all right? I'm just uh, quoting them what it says on the can, all right? Now we do the malts. Malts are two row, Pilsner malt, and rye. Yeast is Conan, C-O-N-A-N. Hops, three hops. Belma, Mosaic, one of my favorites. And El Dorado, all right? Now let's flip top this nice hen. And see what we've got there, all right? Give my best shot. Poor baby, right into the glass. There we go. I'll pull it right here. Turn the can around a little bit here. There we go. Stop all my head here. I'll pour the rest of it in the glass here. I want to have more room. Okay, we got a, a two finger head here. It's on filter and you can not see to it there. Now let's show the bolster, shall we? Nice bubbles glow there. Very carbonated here. Fairly carbonated there. All right. Now for our, uh, now let's do the uh, aromas here, shall we? Smell some candied orange peel. Smell some peaches and a little mango. A little slight grassiness. Now we do the uh, tasting notes. Cheers, everyone. And I'll, I'll sip it first. Double thumbs up. Excellent. Now we'll do the tasting notes here. Tastes lots of guava, a lot of peach. Lots of mango and also a little bit more, a little bit of some papaya in there also. Quite a bit of papaya, I should say. A little slightly grassy taste there. A little candy sweetness on the end there. All right? Now anything else going on here? Uh, yes. Let's do the uh, mouthfeel now, shall we? Medium to full body. Nice soft finish. Overall, perfect blend. Anything else going on here? Yes. Let's, uh, let's pour some more beer into this glass here, shall we? There we go. Try to get my best shot. There we go.
good. All the drops out of the can. It's hard to get out of the can. Over a ball, but be patient. All right. Now I'll get about a fingerhead remaining here now. So unfiltered. Does not bother looking through it there. Nice slicing. is not too bad for only 25 IBUs. All right. Now. You know what's going on in here? Yes. It's a... Uh, the unfiltered there, it's medium uh, haziness there. All right, let's to uh, two guys, girls, ladies. Also, uh, let's do the first toast today here, shall we? Toast to Bob Wagner. He's a marketing coordinator at Hen House Brewing out there in uh, Santa Rosa, California there. Cheers, Bob. Enjoy. And Bob, thank you so much for giving me the info for this beer here today. Without you, I could not do any of your beers. Again, cheers, Bob. And enjoy. And Bob, sip it. And salute them. Bob, I'll give you a double thumbs up. Anything else going on here? Yes. Let's, uh, if you want to purchase this nice 16 ounce single can here, I should say, take that back. We'll buy a nice four pack of these babies here. 10.99 for four pack, 16 ounce cans. Round it off, 11 bucks. Comes to about 275 each. Great bargain stuff there or what? Great deal there. Anyway, and picked us up a total wine in Pleasant Hill. Ton of Rob Jones from Rob Jones Review sent you from YouTube there. And they'll hook you up there. They don't have anything special or for you there. And by the way, they just received it last night there, so there's about maybe two or three cases left in the walk refrigerator. You want to walk through the back of the store to these double glass doors, and you'll see it on the first shelf in the middle there in front of you when you walk in, all right? Anyway, what you know there. Anyway, I was saying it was 10 4 pack 16 ounce cans, round off, 11 bucks, 275 each there. All right, I'm no repeating myself there, just trying to cover my ass, all right? Anyway, if you don't happen to be at Total Wine Plus, you'll go any Total Wine close to your house, all right? Tell them to Rob Johns from Rob Johns Beer, you sent you from YouTube there, and they'll hook you up there. And I'm sure if they don't have it, they can special order for you, all right? Excuse me, great IPA. All right, so then, done with that there. Now to the last thing on the, my favorite on the list here. Now we do the rating. What I say goes. Anyway, try to get my best shot. All right. Cheers, everyone, and enjoy. Let's look at the ABV alcohol by volume. The IBUs are national better units. <clears throat> and the canned on date, 11 14 19. Can't believe it's only seven days at all. Anyway, try to sip here, make my, my final decision, make double make sure. I give this baby an A. My final decision, an A, and that's it. Anything else going on here? Uh, I think that's about it here. Anyway, but time to head out here. Really don't want to, but I have no choice. We mention words in all my videos, specials, screw ups, top 10 videos, beer mill samples, tongue tight talking, tons and tons of mistakes while I'm doing my videos, and talking too fast. This time, time for a room temperature glass. Bye-bye. And that's it. And good evening.